uh, the water pressure seemed a little low, but it only lasted a short time, but it, it was a difference in the water pressure. How can a capital city seem to be running out of water? Thousands of Jackson residents experienced low water pressure over the weekend after outages at both of Jackson's water treatment plants. All repairs have been made, but some neighborhoods are still dealing with the boil water alert. The city issued as a precaution. Yes, we received a call from the city yesterday saying that the water alert was off and that there was only a few streets and they named the streets that still had a water alert. And we're not one of the streets. Aretha Thomas is one of the owners at Mama's Eats and Sweets, a popular lunch spot off of Northside Drive in Jackson. They serve a variety of home cooked meals and drinks, all of which have taken extra time to prepare to ensure customer safety. We basically boil our water and then we use bottled water also for the, whenever we have a notice that with the water problem, we boil it or use bottled water. Boiled or bottled water for all of their signature drinks, like fresh made lemonade and sweet tea. Mayor Yarber was on his listening tour Tuesday night at Provine High School. Questions about the water situation came up in the town hall. Officials tell us that there are at least six streets where the boil water alert is still in effect. Most are in the area of Hanging Moss Creek. Robocalls were sent out to those residents and businesses, business owners, that wouldn't mind skipping an extra step to their work. In Jackson, I'm Eric Walker, JSU-TV.